I recently got this Arduino starter kit and this is really good stuff here I've already of course opened it up here's the book of projects and I'll show you one that I'm working on right now but the setups really quite good they of course give you the the diagrams and everything plus the code and the description of what the code does which is very nice and this is pretty much what it looks like right here is a bunch of parts oh not that one uh, the bigger box here we go all kinds of resistors and capacitors and chips and transistors and all kinds of things it really is set up very nice here's one of the projects controlling a little servo motor here with this little resistor variable resistor this uh, little motor is surprisingly strong get that to stay on there okay now you build the circuit plus you upload the program to make this work and you upload the program with the Arduino interface here and this is just part of the program and what I want to show is let's change this value right here we're mapping the pot value here let's change that to zero zero there we go okay now I have to upload the change and the upload progress is over there okay here we go notice that the servo moved and I haven't moved the resistor it's still up all the way but look what happens now that's as far as it'll go okay let's put this back the way it should be seven nine and again we're going to have to upload the program okay and now we're back to where we were okay but just what did I change well you can go to Arduino's website 
which I have up over here. And I've already found the map, but how I found it was under documents, you go to reference. Let me do that. We'll just do it again. And you find the language reference. And here's map right here. Okay, that's how I got there. And this gives you a description of what this is and what it does and the syntax. And what I changed with it was this, the too high, which is the upper bounds um, of the, let's see, what does that say, value target. So, and I did change the upper bounds, because when I changed it, it was about like that. So with this information, let me back this up, they've got a definition of the language right here, along with, of course, a sample of the syntax. So this is very, very useful. Now let's go back to the interface here. This serial print here, and there's a serial print over here. One will print the pot value that we have gotten or read earlier. Here we're going to use it to make an angle and here we're going to print out that angle. So we're going to see pot value and then after that will be the value. So uh, in quotes is a string. So they got pot value semicolon and a space. And then after that will be this same way here after the angle semicolon space will have a value now what this prints to is a monitor and that's under tools here and it says serial monitor if i click on that it opens up another window and here's the value there's Move this over a little bit. There we go. Pot value is 1023 and the angle is 179, the upper value. Okay, let me change this. And you can see that the numbers are changing as the servo is moving. So let me turn this off. So you can use the serial print to do some troubleshooting as you're developing your program which is going to be very very handy and oh, they have another tool that's interesting uh, let's see serial mode serial plotter let's see what that does okay you can see a line being drawn and as I move the variable resistor, it's making a graft. Let 
Very nice. I want to go back to this code here and make some changes. Let's say that I only want to print out the angle and not the value of the variable resistor. Well, this is easy to do. All you have to do is go in and put some slashes in and notice that the, that line has changed color. It is now just a comment like that. Now when I upload this to the Arduino, let's see here. It's getting there. Not quite, but it's getting there. There we go. Okay. And I go up here and take a look at the serial monitor. And we got 179, which is the highest angle. And I'm turning the variable resistor. And like before, it is now in the zero position. I'm going to turn it all the way back again. So, I would uh, also comment out this also if I didn't need to look at it because, and you know, re upload this because if uh, you're not going to look at it why put the code in the assembler or the uh, compiler uh, in other words it won't execute this code and if you're not going to look at it you know why have it in there but what i'm showing you is that you could put these print uh, commands you know anywhere in the program to print out information and you don't have to delete the thing you could just comment it out because you might go back and you might want to change your mind and look at something else or look at it again after you've made some changes now one question I had is uh, on these I'm not quite sure about the a zero and one thousand and twenty three yet uh, I'll look into that some more but I have figured out this zero to 179 and you would think it'd be 180 but evidently they want to make sure that they don't go over a bound more than likely and make the servo go nuts probably is what's going on I went back to the um, Arduino website, went back to reference, and I was looking for servo in here, and I didn't find it. And I thought, oh, they've got to have the information on that. So I went to library, and scroll down and here's servo servo control motors okay so I clicked on that and now I need to pick out the one I have which is the Arduino Uno and well the board's $23 okay well that's not what I'm looking for 
I already have that. So I kept going down. There's different releases. And kept going down. And the command that we're using is the right command. So I clicked on that. And here's the answer from 0 to 180. Like I said, I think they backed it off one degree. Uh, so nothing would uh, have a problem. So they can't get up to the you know limit and have it go bananas or something. But anyway, there is a lot of information here. You can learn a lot about programming and hardware with this starter kit. And I recommend it highly. And so much so that I'm thinking about contributing to this. This is really good. Thanks for watching.